the world is hyper competitive. If you're going to be a man who's going to sit and say, I'm just sad, you are always going to lose in competition to men like me. Yeah. And there has to be losers for there to be winners. I am tired of sympathy. Sympathy doesn't work for anybody. I'm not going to sit here and be sympathetic for people who say they're too sad to try hard and be their best. Guess what? Perhaps I was sad every time I did exactly what I was supposed to do and trained anyway. Perhaps I was afraid when I fought anyway. Perhaps I was tired when I worked anyway. This is how you get ahead in life. I don't have a fucking ounce of sympathy for these people who sit here and say, well, I feel this way, so I can't. Then don't do it. Stay down there. The winners are at the top and the winners at the top don't give a shit about how they feel. We wake up and we perform regardless of how we feel day after day. So if I'm gonna ignore my own feelings, I'm certainly not gonna take into consideration anybody else's. Yeah. Why am I gonna ignore how I feel and make sure I'm constantly performing regardless, flawlessly, and then sit and go, oh, but he doesn't feel good so he's allowed to fuck up. No, you are not. You're not allowed to fuck up to your ancestors or to God or to yourself. You have to perform. This is how it, this is what being a man is about. The baseline of masculinity is doing things you don't feel like doing. I can't comment on being a woman because I'm not one, but the baseline of masculinity as a whole is the thing that makes a good man a man is that he does what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to work and he works anyway. He doesn't want to go to war and he fights anyway. He doesn't want to get up, he gets up anyway. That's the whole point of it. We didn't want to die in the Titanic. Guess what happened? We died in the Titanic. You can't sit there as a man and say you don't feel like it. You're not allowed to not feel like it. You're supposed to do it anyway, regardless. Yeah. So when a man sits there and says, oh, but you don't understand, I'm struggling with motivation. If you are struggling with the motivation to be a winner, then stay a loser. No problem, stay yeah. a loser, don't care. Because in my circle, there's no losers around me. Your energy is disgusting, I find it revolting. I don't like weakness around me, even near me. Even people coming up saying hello to me. If you're depressed, don't even shake my hand. I do not have time for losers on any regard, winners only. Men who have mental health issues, I hope them, I wish them the best in the world. But when they come to me and say, and I get this all the time, Andrew, I have this problem, I'm depressed and I can't go to the gym. I say, no, I disagree. You're depressed because you don't go to the gym. If you go to the gym, you might start to feel better, right? I'm saying you can't sit as a man and afford the luxury of saying, I have a mental health issue today, I'm sad today, I'm stressed today, I'm emotional today, I can't work. Because you will lose against the men who don't do that. As a man, it's player versus player. It's ultimately competitive. And as a man, you have to outcompete the other men who are prepared to get up and do it anyway. That's how it works. There's no such thing as saying, I'm sad, I need two weeks off. Not as a man if you want to be important. If you want to be important as a man, you have shit to do. You have duties. This is how it exists, this is how it's always been. If I feel sad, it does not change how I act and it does not change the things I do. If I don't feel like going to the gym, I go to the gym. If I don't feel like working, I will still work. I lived, a, I lived in a world for 15 years where I didn't feel like fighting because my nose was broken, but I had to fight anyway. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these people come up to me and, and they say, oh, but I feel this way. I don't put a, a huge amount of importance on emotions. It's not that I don't feel them. It's that I don't think they have much to do with anything at all. If I wake up in a happy mood and I have a business to run and females to cater for and things to do, if I wake up in a sad mood, I have the same shit to do. I'm gonna get it done. So where's the importance of it? It's in my mind, that's how I view it. Like, how does that affect what I'm gonna do? Well, nothing, it doesn't. It's not gonna affect how I live my life, so why sit around and think about it? This modern obsession with happiness is, is the number one problem with the world. Because I don't, I really don't believe humans were ever evolved to be happy, mm -hmm. were we? If you're gonna try hard at something, and I mean genuinely try, 99% of people will get adept at X thing. It doesn't matter what it is. If, if, if I decided I wanted to be good at piano and I gave it everything I got, I'd, play, I'd be able to play piano. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like there's, there's people with one hand who can play piano. It's just how much effort you're gonna put in. I don't struggle at anything because if I decide I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. And I've never struggled with motivation. So if you don't struggle with motivation, then you're never gonna struggle with anything in life. I mean, I'm naturally adept at some things and there's some things I'm not as naturally adept at. But if you're prepared to work, you're prepared to work. So no, I don't struggle with anything. Life is not a struggle to me. I do not view life as difficult in any way. I think life is extremely easy. I believe that all of my problems are gonna be fixed by me. That no one else is gonna wake up and give a fuck about my problems the way I'm gonna give a fuck. Nobody else is going to be prepared to go through what it takes to fix them but me. If I'm in the ring getting an ass kicking, not my coach, not my corner, not my fans, no one's going to get me out of there alive but me. As a man, we live in hyper-competitive environments. I don't think enough men understand how competitive the world is.
if you want a girl, you're competing against other men. You're not the only man who had the idea of getting that girl. There's no girl you're going to see and go, oh, I'll get that girl and didn't cross anyone else's mind. Everybody else wants her. You have to outcompete other men. You have to be as competitive as possible. You have to be as successful as possible in all realms. You have to be as good looking, as funny, as smart, as spontaneous, as interesting, as charismatic, as rich as possible. You need to try very hard to be your absolute best. And as you become a better man, you'll crack through different tiers of attractiveness and eventually you get to the top and you'll be able to have any girl you want. But the truth is, I have a lot of guys ask me, similar to your question, a guy will come to me and go, how do I get a girl? I'm like, bro, you're a loser. Yeah, but I know, but how do I get a girl? Well, you're a fucking loser. You're a loser. Why are you asking me? It's like saying, how do I win a race with a push bike? You're racing Ferraris. What do you want me to do? Yeah. There's only so much you can do. There's only so hard you can pedal. There's only so many tricks and, and tips. There's only so many game things you can say, yeah. so many pickup lines. If you're a loser, it's gonna be very, very difficult and it's gonna get harder and harder. The game is rigged to become harder and harder for men. It's not getting easier, it's going the other way. And if you're gonna be on a racetrack and there's gonna be Ferraris there, and you're gonna be on a pedal bike or in a Nissan, you're gonna get smoked. That's the game. You have no. to up yourself, you have to improve yourself. I'm not gonna to lie to anybody here and say you don't have to improve yourself, you can stay a loser and, and get chicks, because you can't, Yeah, you can't. This idea of random, just random headaches is bullshit. It's bullshit. If you have a headache, it's for a reason. Did you hit your head? Yes or no? Well, no, you didn't hit your head. So are you dehydrated? Probably. Have you drunk a bunch of water? No. If you really drink a bunch of water and you didn't hit your head and your head still hurts, have you laid down, had a little nap? Maybe you were tired and now you feel okay again. Why are you taking drugs? I know people who just randomly four times a week, I have a headache, let me just take this pill. What headache? Was your brain falling out? Are you, is your brain rotting? Why do you have a headache for no reason? It doesn't make sense to me. It's stupid. A lot of it's psychological. A lot of it's placebo effect bullshit. And it's an entirely wrong worldview. You can't just go through life medicating yourself for imaginary fucking illness. It's dumb. If you want to get rich, you have to act quickly. You have to do things fast. Speed is rule one. Not enough people understand the, the importance of speed because every hour you spend not making money is an hour you're not going to get back. The sooner you turn on the tap to the money, the more money you're going to make. You have to be very, very quick. Life only teaches you lessons the hard way. There's no other way to truly learn a lesson. The thing is you'll notice about people is that when life is trying to give them a lesson the easy way, they'll ignore it. Oops. Oh, like you'll see it all the time. People will, some, they'll have close call, close call, close call, close call. They won't pay attention until something really bad happens. And then they'll be like, oh no, I'll do anything to take this back. Yeah. That's how people learn. No one learns the easy way. It takes a very smart person to learn the easy way. Everybody only learns the hard way ever. The number one thing people don't have control of in their lives is their mind. But what's funny about that is, the only thing in life you can truly control is your mind. You can't control other people. You can't control the weather. You can't even control your health. Your heart might stop beating. You don't make it beat. It just goes, so it's gonna turn off one day. The only thing you can control in, the, in your life is what you think in your mind. So if you're gonna sit there and go, oh, I'm sad, well, you, you can change that if you actually try, but you don't, you just accept it, right? So people have lost control of, of their own minds. And I don't understand why you would allow your mind your own mind to take power from you. Why would you believe in your, let your own mind convince you you're not a lucky person or I'm not this or I'm not confident. Why would you let your own mind sabotage you?